And uh, in this session, we're going to talk about product-led growth, um, how to create a strategy. We're going to discuss um, many elements of uh, how to deal with uh, market volatility um, and how to really amend your product strategy uh, in, in the light of uh, the challenges we have today. We're going to speak about what is product-led growth and what is the why the global disruption is actually a catalyst to product-led growth. How can you really help um, your company uh, and uh, really survive this uh, disruption and market volatility? Um, how does that tie to business metrics like customer acquisition cost? Um, and really, uh, how can, can you really create a culture behind uh, endorsing customer value? And we're gonna go through five steps that help you uh, start with product -like growth. Even if you are a B2B enterprise, uh, these steps are something that we offer you to do and are uh, doable based on our experience with Gainsight. So let's begin with what is really product-led growth. Um, it really is a powerful strategy that relies on your product usage as primary vehicle to customer acquisition, retention, and expansion, really helping you scale. Um, and in this volatile time, in this uh, global disruption, um, it also helps you um, introduce a new customer acquisition model and can be very relevant for your company, even again, if you're not offering free trial or freemium, Uh, how what actually the customer journey looks like. So if you look on the uh, marketing team, uh, normally using marketing automation to drive awareness, but what they do is normally is gate content and use content and uh, marketing touch to um, understand buying intent. Um, and then if you look at the customer acquisition cost, which is increasing over time, thanks for the, all the, due to all the competition, the ads and all the paid media and other channels are getting more and more expensive. Um, and then um, the time to experience value from the customer perspective is also becoming longer. In product led, um, it's really a, a concept that as a product leader, you want to understand the end to end of your customer journey and you want to optimize their first impression from your product. Product experience is becoming a very important channel to learn how your customers use your product and influence that behavior as well. Um, so why really product experience? We want first of all to align business model with the customer expectation. As a customer, you know, there's a consumerization of that expectation. Even enterprise buyers now expect to try and evaluate the software um, in an easy and frictionless way. They know that they have some requirements and they want to make sure that the platform will work well and they're not missing anything. So that trial is really raising their confidence uh, in your ability to uh, deliver. It also allows them to see how can they partner with you uh, during that trial. How are you, are you responsive to their needs? Do you understand the, the, the set of pains that they are going through and what are they trying to achieve? 